In future versions of Subtitle Edit, it's going to be possible to batch burn subtitles to multiple videos at once, and this is coming soon. So, welcome to this video. My name is David, and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this batch mode feature was requested, uh, and you can actually see it uh, from the link I'm going to leave in the description below, so that you can chip in your thoughts and ideas and give feedback uh, when you test it out. This feature is still in beta, so please take note of that, and it's good to always test out. Uh, it's right here. I'll click on it. It's a feature request. Batch mode for burning feature. It was uh, requested by Leon, and more or less how this is actually going to help or improve in, in workflow is that if you have a ton of videos and you just uh, and the subtitle files that correspond to those videos, and all you want to do is just burn in subtitles to those videos, then all you need to do is just open subtitle edit up go to generate video with banding subtitles and add all the subtitles and the videos right there it's super easy so the reason for this particular thread is so that uh, we can give feedback uh, because it's more or less a feature request and it's good that uh, nicolaj always listens uh, because we believe that subtitle edit is the best free subtitling software out there and hopefully someday mac users are actually going to use it natively on mac now, uh, the reason why I'm saying this is important is because if you see something or an issue, you can actually take a screenshot, do a short video, and uh, show what is going on. And uh, more or less, all the recommendations we're actually giving are actually helping uh, make a ton of improvements to this. Keep testing. That's, uh, that's the reason why Subtitle Edit has grown tremendously because of people who test. And for example, I give this particular uh recommendation like for the resolution uh if you set the resolution for the initial section of that particular uh, in that interface it was affecting the resolutions of the videos so if you have vertical videos the resolution uh, that was set up here was actually converting that whole video into a landscape if uh, the resolution was for a landscape but that's uh done uh, it's been sorted and a ton of other things like output folders and so on and so forth so uh if you actually have time actually uh, kind of check out this uh, particular thread uh and then if you've already tested out the beta version and this is the beta or this is the releases page you can come and download subtitle edit beta and test it out now i'm going to test it out uh right now uh, because i've downloaded it and just open a new folder here just drag and drop this here and then we can actually extract the files here so we can actually delete the zip file and then open subtitle edit.exe just double click on it i'll maximize this and you can see uh, this is subtitle edit uh, 4.0.5 next beta number 80 and depending on what time you actually test it out could be a different number but of importance for the batch uh, burning mode is video generate video with banding subtitle and if it's your first time running it you'll need to download ffmpeg i'll click on that it's actually going to download it super super fast and once it's done we're going to get the dialog box to generate a video with uh generate or banning uh subtitles to video click ok and there we have it generate video with banding subtitle now uh Everything else here is the same. Uh, the only introduction is for uh, the resolution here, use source, and this is very important. You need to have this checked if you have videos of different resolutions. But if you know your resolution of a video or your videos have the same resolution, you can just click on these three dots and select that particular resolution from here. But if I'm in your position, I'm actually going to leave it as use source resolution. Now, that's enough. I'm not going to change anything else here. But for now, we can click on add uh, right here. And if I click on add, I know the videos that I want to have subtitles banned into. And it's this video and this video. Now, if I actually see all the files here, you'll notice that we do have subtitle files right inside here. The subtitle files have identical names to my videos. So if I go back to videos and select the two videos I want to ban in subtitles to, and click on open the subtitles are going to be automatically imported into this particular dialog box so if i actually maximize this 
and move this aside a little bit, you're actually going to see uh, your subtitles, uh, the way it is, this is an SRT, this is a .ass, and it's super, super simple. Uh, now, I wish we had a numbering system right here, it would be awesome, but I also love the fact that you can actually see the source of that particular video and subtitle if you want. Let's assume this is not the subtitle that you wanted. You can just right click and pick subtitle and change that particular subtitle if that is something that you wanted to do. But I'll cancel this for now. And our files are ready. The only remaining thing for us to do is choose the output file or folder. I can click on that. And the new dialog box, you have the option to save in source file folder. That is where our videos are or save in output folder below. By default, there is an output folder created that goes to the desktop and creates the output folder on the desktop. Now, if you'd like to save somewhere else custom, you can click on these three dots and choose that particular uh, uh, section where you want to save uh, your videos with band in subtitles. I'll just close this and you can open this to see that particular output folder. So that is okay. And finally, you can change the suffix. For example, for this one, I can change the suffix to completed and all the files, that is once they're banned, they'll have the suffix completed. I'll click OK. And if you're done with all the changes that you want to make, just click on generate. Now this is going to take just a short while, but you can see a couple of things here of importance is that you'll see the time remaining, one minute and three seconds. And then you'll see uh, it's how many files, one of two, uh, please wait. And then uh, something else that is going to happen is that you're going to see the status here, converted, uh, that's what is actually uh, we are actually getting. Uh, so the only thing I don't like about this particular section is that once the videos are done uh, or the subtitles are burned into the videos, this particular dialog box is going to disappear and I wish it actually remained and there's, you're actually going to get a new pop-up uh, window or dialog box uh, that shows you that your files are done and so on and so forth. But I wish this particular window remained so that you can see the converted status. And the reason for this is that once this first file is actually done, you'll see the status converted. But once the second file is done, you'll not see the status of converted. You'll just see the dialog box showing you that your files uh, or more or less have been banned or the subtitles have been done. So you can see this is converted. But for this other one, because it's a short video, once it's done, you'll not get this status. It would be awesome to actually leave it in this particular mode so that somebody can actually, uh, once that dialog box comes up, you click OK and then you can close out. See what happens? You get your conversion report and uh, you'll see that two video files converted in one minute 31 seconds and then you'll see uh, where they are and so on and so forth. Uh, I'll just click OK and if I actually open the output folder we have our two files here and if I actually double click on this. In this video I'll show you how to export a video with subtitles. Or so you can see the subtitles banned in and this is the SRT file and I like the way uh, more or less everything is added like uh, this particular uh, edge, uh, black edge there. And then we've got this one. Uh, I did a test, uh, no quality assurance here. In this video. Uh, so I just added a background to the ASS to see if everything was actually going to do or work the way I wanted it to be. And this is in Swahili. I'll show you how to add cut. So yeah, you can see. So you can just do your own quality assurance. Make sure that the subtitles look the way you want them to look in the final video before burning in the subtitles to the video. So uh, subtitle edit has grown tem tremendously and uh, being able to batch burn subtitles to video is something that is highly welcome. Uh, all I can say is that kindly do test it out, see how it works best for you, uh, see if it's something that you're going to need and use in your workflow or if you have a ton of videos and you just want to burn subtitles to, it's a good uh, option for you to use. Uh, that is subtitle edit burning feature. And you can just join this thread to actually make a comment, suggestion, give feedback on 
different things that you encounter. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.